Hi, welcome back to the Pro 2010 basic training. Now we're going to have a quick look at Shape Generator. Shape Generator is a very quick and easy way of making a simple shape. So, if we select some fixtures to apply it to, and then use Locate, we can see we're going to be applying it to these fixtures. Now, Shape Generator is always soft key to at the root program menu. So when we hit it, it's takes us into the Shape Generator menu. And the first thing we need to do is play back a shape, because there's currently nothing to do with them. So, if we hit play back a shape, it lists all the shape files that have been loaded into Perl. Circle is the movement one. So if I choose circle, we look at the screen, they're doing a circle. Now, to change the parameters of the shape, I can use these two options here. Set the wheels to the spread, or set to size and speed. I'm going to choose size and speed first. Size increases or decreases the size of the shape. So as you look at the screen, when I'm putting the size up, it's getting bigger. If I turn the wheel anti-clockwise, they get smaller. If you reduce to zero, so the size is none, the shape stops. Speed also affects fixtures. As we turn the wheel clockwise, the speed increases. Now they get to a point where your fixtures can't physically do the speed you're setting them to. As we turn the wheel anti-clockwise, the speed goes down until it gets to stop at zero. We can also use the wheels to set the spread. This is changing how many fixtures the shape is playing across. Core spread is the number of fixtures the shape is playing over. So when it sets to 2, it means it's going to play across two fixtures and then start repeating again. Fine spread is worked out in degree values. So it's now changing the degree value within the core spread. You can play back shapes on top of each other. So to do that, I go to play back a shape now. And then I choose, for example, a dimmer spread. So, again, I've also I've now got these options, edit the size, the speed, and the spread. So I'm going to offset it slightly, and speed it up. Now, because I created the dimmer shape last, that's one that's attached to the wheels. If I want to go back and edit the circle shape, I need to go, ed go to edit a shape, and make sure circle is highlighted, and then press enter. And this means the circle is now active on the wheels again. So if I change the size, I can see the circle is getting smaller. If I want to delete a shape, I go to the delete key and then choose the shape to be deleted. I can also change the direction of the shape. So if I've got something running from left to right for a dimmer spread, if I change the direction, it'll reverse it. So I play from right to left. Now, once I've got something that will happen with, I want to save it into a queue. All I do is, as with a normal queue, hit memory queue, choose my record mode. If I choose channel, then that means that I can play the shape over other memories. So because I've just changed the dimmer and the position values, I could play it over a fixture mode or channel mode memory that had things like colour and gobos in. So when I choose my mode, I'm going to leave it in fixture mode. I hit a flushing playback and that saved it. If I press clear and then exit to come out of shape generator, I can now see my shape has been saved. If I play back my culture is on top of this, it's not interfering with it. It's just been saved in channel mode, the chase, and it's playing a reflection memory. So by using shape generator and chases and cues, you can build up looks with lots of different layers and start having a really good base to start busting your show from. Thank you very much.